Ooh, what's up guys, and of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, Deathscarender, and well, today we're doing it, today we're going against a strong, a very, very good battler and friend, Jack, or just me, while a very, very strong battler and uh, one of my oldest friends in the community, and um, yeah, I have so many good things to say about it, and it was such a long time since we really battled. Last time we did that was on his hundreds upload on um, on X and Y, where I had my team full, so a very strong team against him, and barely, barely won. And uh, this time is not that serious. Um, we decided to just do a little RU issue battle and just have fun with it. So it really paid off because it's still a very serious game with Pokémon that are. They are serious, but not in that way, I guess. The team is not constructed as for a long time. Uh, so looking at his team, he's got the Hitmonchan, Sceptile, which I think is outrageous that that thing is still in RU. Uh, we got Dewblade, Moltres, um, Licky Licky, and uh, Omastar. So a very, very potent team. You know, not as uh, obvious synergy. Um, obviously too weak against Lightning, which will utilize the Lightning Rod on his... Uh, Sceptile, so I need to keep that in mind. I myself use in Helisk, uh, Cobalion, uh, Rhyperior, Pure Ugly, Mega Pidgeot, and Drogology. And I was real on the fence, I was gonna use Drogology or Avalog. I decided to go with the Drogology because I need a special hitter. Um, I don't know if I like Drogology that much anymore. I have a, I had a rough time trying to use it, and um, it's gonna be showcased throughout this battle that. Uh, it needs to have some kind of support to work properly and not just die after two turns. So, well, with that in mind, guys, let's do it. So, at the get-go, I'm actually going to start with heal this because there is no reason for me not to. The only, like, real counter for it is actually a Hitmonchan which impacts a Mac Punch. And since he hasn't Mega Evolved his Mega Sceptile yet, I can actually go kind of freely for a Volt Switch here, and that is a Spectre Volt Switch. And uh, yeah, he's gonna switch out right to bat, and I do expect the very, very mean Licky Licky, who's gonna ball this for days. And I'm fully aware of that, I hate this Pokemon so much. But I really felt that, alright, this is my key opportunity to go with my Cobalion. And this is an Assault as Cobalion, you should be able to counter both Mega Pidgeot and uh, Mega Sceptile. So I decided to go with a Volt Switch here because I know he's gonna switch out because hell I would too I will not want to take a close combo for this thing and he do the right prediction I was definitely in defense that he is gonna go with the Dewblade and uh, yeah there's no reason for him not to really it's very very good switch in of course the Volt Switch does nothing it's basically there for momentum and uh, I'm gonna go with my Repairer or Desotroya and um, yeah I'm gonna go for Niku I know he has two Pokemon or one Pokemon is Clearly immune on it, and uh, Sceptile can definitely wall that. But I felt at the same time that he's going to stay in thinking that I won't, or I I don't have the guts to do that, but I really did. And the same thing gonna go here. I do expect him to Mega Evolve and go for Dragon Pulse, so I'm actually gonna stay in here. A little risky, I could have sacked off my uh, Rhyperior right here and then, but he's gonna show me the Swords Dance, and uh, that's actually a huge issue. So I will go here for the, um, of course, Choice Bandit EQ, and I say it does some fair damage, but I know I can't really take a Swords of Dawn's Leaf play for this fin, so I'm gonna expect him to go with that, bring in the Cobalion, faking my Scarf, hoping that he, well, that I'm stressing out enough so he will switch out. Uh, but just meanwhile, actually see right through that, decides to say and go for the EQ, and uh, yeah. I'm in trouble, I <laughs> am genuinely in trouble, and uh, basically at this point I needed to go with my Mr. Biggish Watch and uh, go for the fake out, hoping for me to do some decent damage on this thing. It is enough for a 2 hit KO, but I will not outspeed, I'm actually 10 base slower, so it's very risky for me to stay in. So I expected him to go for either Leaf Blade or Dream Punch, but he will actually go for Leaf Blade, and uh, at this point I'm gonna expect him to... Um, Go for the EQ, seeing this is the best opportunity for me to go into my Mega Pidgeot and Mega Vol because I know later on I can take a Mega Drain Punch if that's the case. But he packs two stab moves, and I did not see that. And my Mega Pidgeot is gonna go down before it even gets to Mega Vol. And um, yeah, that is actually a very, very, very bad play on my part. And um, 
Yeah, he, he totally, totally has me on the edge here. I had started off so well here, and now I definitely are in the down here with both losing my Mega Pokemon very early on, and uh, actually not having a proper um, Pokemon to deal with a lot of his Pokemon. Like Cobalion was definitely like one of my win conditions, and um, of course this Oma Star is terrifying because it do have something that I'm not accustomed to, which is the weak armor. So I do boost it up quite a bit actually before I actually decide to switch out. So I take this skull, kind of fine. I mean, it hurts, but it it's not that big of an issue. So I think I'm gonna go for another skull, and um, he actually saw that there's a very very likely opportunity I'll switch out to my Hillisk. And uh, I don't take this so well, but I, he gets the freeze, and that is like, oh, dude, no. So I decided to go for Volt Switch anyway because I knew he wouldn't switch out his Mega Sceptile, there's no reason for him not to. And I'm very lucky to fought out first turn, and I mean thank god because this would be a very very, well, sad game to watch if I didn't fought out then I would it. So anyway, I do get some momentum, the Omar Star is gone, but Sceptile is very real and outspeeds everything in my team. So I'm just gonna bring in Mr. Biggest Worth because it is my only safe play, like that is the only Pokemon that hinders the Mega Sceptile from coming in again. So I'm gonna go for Fake Out, just doing damage to be honest, obviously not doing enough. And I'm gonna expect him to have a Mock Punch here, so I decide to switch out to my Rhyperior. And, um, no, I switch out to my Socrid, never mind that. Uh, he's gonna go for Drain Punch, obviously, uh, I'm not taking that too well. I was definitely hoping for a Mock Punch, Ice Punch combination, I knew I could live that, but a Drain Punch do a little bit too much, and the Ice Punch will definitely finish me off. And, yeah, that really sucks. It really does. And um, basically, I'm gonna go to my Rhyperia with the Solid Rock. I could wall him out somewhat. And I'm going to hope to force him out there to uh, his uh, Moltres, thinking that I'll go for. Uh, um, what's it called? Uh, EQ. But he decides to say in, and that is just awful. Really, really awful. So I decided to go for Rock Blast. And um, yeah, he, he really played it cool here. And um, a Rock Blast could have taken out if. I got a five hits in a row. Uh, I think I get two. So yeah, not that much luck here. I definitely should have rock record instead and just pull that off right off the bat. So anyway, rain punch will definitely take me out. I only got Mr. Biggest Worth left and uh, my hill disc. And now I know he doesn't have the mag punch, and I should definitely have thought about that before because a hyper voice from this um, hill disc is actually enough to kill a Hitmonchan. So I could have saved my Rhyperior if I was smart here, and um, <laughs> I did not do that. And of course, I'm opening myself up here for the Red Arrow, or the marvelous and terrible creature that is the Mega Sceptile, which will, of course, kill my Saladin, so thank you for that. Mr. Biggest Words is gonna come in now, and at least, you know, the power of this pure ugly poke is going to utilize itself with the Fake Out and annihilate the Sceptile. So I only got this thing left, and I got Moltres and Lick Lick against me, so how will I fare? How will I fare? Well, I'll say this. I got Thick Fat and Assault Vest, and he's gonna go for Fire Blast. I am actually able to tank that, like, not well. Not well at all, actually. But, you know, I take it. And uh, the only way for me to really get around this is if I hit and return, and then that he miss the next Fire Blast. I am not that lucky guys, sadly. He's gonna go for Air Slash, and it will be enough to finish off my Pure Ugly. And really, even if I would decided to, or we managed to kill this Moltres, there's no way for me to really kill the Lick Lick that we came afterwards, because the Lick Lick is really, really potent. So I really need my right Pure for that, and uh, obviously I lost it way earlier than I needed to. So yeah, looking back at this game, I must say, we both really, really played well. I was definitely losing momentum that I actually gained uh, from um, this was and Sceptile, really. And um, I really knew, looking back at this game, had I actually not brought the right barrier and just brought my um, heal disc right off the bat with a hyper voice against Hitmachan, I would actually have been able to win, because my right barrier do pack um, quite the nifty moves, one of them being both Rock Blast and Super Power, which meant that I will definitely have been able to take out the Sceptile, been able to deal with the Moltres properly with Rhyperion Bound, and the Lick Liquid had no chance against either a healthy Pure Ugly and a rather healthy uh, Pure Ugly. I do know that most, most Moltres packed the Hidden Power Grass, but even if he would have had that, he was still scoffed, which means that 
I could have utilized that and um, used that against me because obviously I would expect a Fire Blast and he will be locked into that with the Scarf and uh, just switch out that to my Rapier. But really, who the hell cares? That was like one of those key moments that, you know, would either make or break the game for me and I definitely choked. And Jack is such a good player too, which means that those battles, you know, you don't really mind losing because it, both our team got really showcased here and my biggest words got like the spotlight there, they're actually <laughs> kind of coping, which was great. It was really fun to see and like I said, Jack is one of those battlers that are, he's very cool in his place, which means that, you know, we kind of sync very well. And that often means that we lose on details. We always, one of us lose on details, which is really, really funny. It's um, uh, it gets the most of me as a battler. I, I really feel I developed after battling him like this. So um, yeah, definitely check him out. I'm gonna leave his channel down below. I'm very sure most of you guys already know who he is. And if you don't, then yes, check him out. He has great content, and he's very good in all the tiers. He's not like me, you know, very specific in you are you. He's definitely can work itself out in OU and UU, so definitely, definitely check him out for great content. So, with that in mind, guys, well, thank you, as always, of course, for watching, and don't forget to leave a like, and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, because it's a very, very nice channel. It's a nice hangout, I mean, we got beer, we got girls, we have female Pokemon girls, just so there is no complications there. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you for also watching, um, and yeah, remember, the sky is the limit, so have a good day, guys, and take care, alright? Bye.